guys, thank you so much for tuning into my channel. So today's episode is going to be a full face, first impressions, foundation review, all sort of mixed into one. I am doing a, an entire look using Wet n Wild Beauty uh, products that I found at Walgreens and I'm going to be sort of concentrating my video on the Wet n Wild new Photo Focus Foundation. And this is the look that I came up with, so if you're interested in finding out what my thoughts were on the foundation and some of the other Wet n Wild goodies that I used, um, then just keep on watching. Alright, so we're going to do a full face of first impressions and like a foundation review on the new Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I'll do some check-ins during the day. It's about 7.15 right now in the morning. I'm an early riser. But what I wanted to mention is sort of the obvious. My background is a little bit different and the lighting may look a little bit different. I kind of just flipped my camera around so that I'm sitting in front of the big window that's usually behind me um, and I don't have any lighting going on. Like none of my ring light isn't on and I usually have two big lights um, facing me. And what I wanted to do for this first impressions slash review <laughs> is give you like a really true sense of the makeup. So I'm just using Daylight. It is thankfully a very clear um, day here today in Vegas. Um, I'm going to start with uh, primer. So I'm going to use my Bobbi Brown uh, Vitamin Enriched Face Base because I don't have a drugstore um, primer. I think I need to fix that problem, but for now I don't have one. I've used this before in, in Get Ready With Me First Impressions, so I'm not going to ramble on and on about it. So now for the star of the show, I have Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in color Soft Beige. It is, what do they say? It's a light medium. So we'll see what happens. I don't know how I feel about this dispensing situation, this whole weird spatula thing. <clears throat> I'm just going to wipe it onto the back of my hands, I guess. I don't know if you're supposed to put it directly on your face. I don't know if I feel comfortable doing that, so I'm just going to put some on the back of my hand. And I'm going to use the new EcoTools um, blending sponge that I got from Walmart. So I'm going to just dip that in and start applying it. Ooh, it's nice. I think the color match is good. The scent of the foundation smells a little bit like paint. It actually reminds me of this Chanel foundation I had back in college. They definitely don't make it anymore. Um, but I actually loved, <laughs> I'm like such a huffer, I loved the smell of it. I'm liking the coverage. I feel like it's pretty full. What do we think of this color? I think it could be a little bit dark but that's okay. I'm still hoping I get a little bit of a tan this summer now that I'm in Vegas, but we'll see. Okay, before I get into the foundation, I love this sponge. It's like soft yet firm, um, and I like this like flat top kind of pointy edge here. So first impressions of this foundation is the coverage is pretty full. I feel like the finish of it is, um, it's definitely not matte but it's not glowy, it's right in between. It's really, really awesome. I feel like it looks really natural, it looks really skin-like. I'm super impressed, actually. For $4.99 at the drugstore, I think this is pretty amazing. I've had some pretty bad experiences with drugstore makeup. So far, I am very, very impressed. It doesn't feel heavy. There's maybe a slight tack to it, so I'll have to, um, I'll have to powder it, make sure it's set properly. For the moment, it doesn't seem to be sinking into any lines, so I am, I am very happy. Okay, sorry, I had to tie my hair back, it was bugging me and I'm getting hot, so. <laughs> Alright, so um, let me throw on some concealer, which is by Terry Concealer, I've used this a gazillion times. Um, I did not have any drugstore concealer, um, which I'll have to grab some, but I'm just going to use this for now. Okay, concealer is on, and now I'm going to put uh, the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Pressed Powder kind of all over my face to set the concealer and the foundation. This is also something I got recently that I haven't tried yet, so I'm excited to give this a whirl. I do feel like this powder is very light, which is actually helping balance out the color of that foundation, which is a little bit too dark. You can see, you can see the difference there, but I'll maybe just have to bronze up my neck a lot. <laughs> Wow, I'm really liking this powder too. It has 
um, doesn't make my skin look too dry. It doesn't make the foundation look cakey. It's super light. It feels great on the skin. Wow, I'm so impressed by this Wet n Wild Photo Focus stuff so far. Very nice. So that's the Photo Focus Press Powder, and I have the color Warm Light. I did also get some eyeshadow primer, so I'm going to put that on now so that it can set. And it is um, like nude skin toned in color, so which I, I happen to like, so that's exciting. It's tackier than the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion that I normally use, so I'll be interested to see if it kind of holds my eyeshadows um, even more. Okay, I can't, <laughs> can't stop staring at myself in the mirror, but no, this foundation is like really, um, it's really nice. The powder is really nice too. I think I'm gonna have to get a lighter color. So I got, I got bronzer, but I feel like I shouldn't go too crazy since it's already too dark. <clears throat> so I think what I'll do is put the bronzer on my neck since it's too light. Let's see how that works. So this is actually helping shade. I think that actually really helped a lot. Wow, nice. Nice. So I think what I'll do is, now that I've sort of evened out my face and my neck, I'm going to use this just a little bit to contour my... I think this uh, shade, did I even tell you what I got? The shade I got is Ticket to Brazil. I think it is a great bronzer, but I don't think it's a great contour. It's too um, warm. Um, so I also got um, two... Color Icon blushes. I think I'm going to use Pearlescent Pink. And it has just a hint of like gold shimmer in it. I forgot. I got a bunch of Wet n Wild brushes that I should be using. So this is the powder brush. Ooh, they're so soft. They're synthetic fiber. I love the, the slight gold sheen to it. Gives a nice uh, finish to the cheeks. And I tend to put blush like right on the apples of my cheeks. Every time I go to a counter and they do blush for me, they always start up here and come down. I don't know. I feel like I leave that more for like bronzer and, and maybe highlighter or whatever. And the blush I kind of leave right over here. I bring it out a little bit, but not quite as much as they always do. So I don't know. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. And then for highlighter, so I have two options. I just recently hauled, um, well, yesterday's haul. Uh, this Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Precious Petals, which when I swatched it on my hand, it was absolutely gorgeous. And then a while ago, I got this Wet n Wild Highlighter in Boozy Brunch, and I actually wore it in my video yesterday, and it is gorgeous. It's very gold, um, and this one obviously is a little bit more peach, so maybe I'll try this one, the Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. Whoa. Whoa. Ooh. Hi. Hi there. Wow. That is some major, that is some major highlight. Ooh, I like that. What next? Okay, so I'm going to try this Wet n Wild eyeshadow palette. Keep doing that, you can't see. And it's the Color Icon Eyeshadow Collection in Comfort Zone. This is also something I picked up, um, either earlier this year or late last year, and I just haven't gotten a chance to try it. So I'm excited to give it a whirl. I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and I'm gonna use this brow bone color. I love how they label everything. <laughs> Can you guys see that, how it's like embossed? So I'm gonna use the brow bone color and sort of swipe that, swipe that all over. I'm gonna go ahead and use this eyelid color and sort of use that um, all over my, my eyelid. I'm liking these shadows too. Again, I forgot. I got Wet n Wild um, eyeshadow brushes as well. So I got the um, eyeshadow small eyeshadow brush. I'm gonna use the crease, this crease color here. I'm actually going to kind of just add this to my lash line here. I don't know if I like this brush. I think, um, at least not for this use, I think it's better for like padding in color. All right, I'm gonna use like a more, um, a smaller like precision brush. 
And again, I'm going to go into that crease color. Apply that close to my, close to my lash line. I think I'll put some just underneath, just on the outer corner here. So, well, I really like these shadows. They blend it out really easily. So I have a confession. I don't have any drugstore mascara. I went in there with the full intention of getting one and I was so completely overwhelmed. There are so many drugstore mascaras and I thought, all right, if I don't get a Wet n Wild one, I'll just hop on over to CoverGirl, Maybelline, whatever. I mean, so many, so many. So I kind of backed away from the mascara wall and um, I'm just gonna go ahead and use what I've been using, which is the Tarte um, lifted. Okay, just uh, curled my eyelashes and put on some mascara. So. Okay, so next is lips. So I got two gel lip liners. I got one in Bare to Comment, which is this um, like nude color. It's very pretty. And I also got Gone Burgundy, which is this darker, more whiny color. I don't know which would go best with this velvet matte lip color that I got in Hickory Smoked. I think either would actually work well. I'm gonna put this lip color on first and then, and then go in with a lip liner and see what happens. So that is Hickory Smoked. Uh, again, the velvet matte lip color from Wet n Wild. It's a lot brighter than I thought it would be. I thought it was gonna be more of a nude. All right, bear to comment. It's not super matte. It's not like a liquid lipstick. It's, um, it's nice. It's nice. It's a much more comfortable, natural sort of matte finish. So let me use the last thing that I got from Wet n Wild, which is the, if I can reach it, the, um, Photo Focus, um, setting spray. Sorry, that's the French side. <laughs> I actually put this on, uh, yesterday and it's okay. It's definitely on like the stickier side. kind of feels like hairspray on the face. Definitely smells like hairspray on the face. All right, so it's about 7.45 right now. So I'm really liking the foundation so far. I'll do a check-in probably at around noon, which is about four hours away, and we'll see how it is at that point. Hello, it is, sorry for the super close-up. <laughs> it's about um, 12 noon, so I've had this makeup on for like at least four and a half hours now. I am so freaking impressed by this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. It is really phenomenal. It hasn't sunken into my lines. I mean, not any more than, you know, they haven't accentuated my lines, I should say that. And I think it has a great finish. It hasn't broken up on my nose around my nose, between my eyebrows. These are all the places where foundation tends to kind of um, separate and do weird things. Um, I have had a couple snacks and the velvet lip pencil is still going strong. The highlighter is going strong. I feel like the blush has faded uh, quite a bit. Um, and I had the color icon blush on and the eyeshadow is looking really good. So the primer eyeshadow combo is great, but I have to say, I'm so impressed by this foundation. It is really probably one of the best foundations I've ever used, you know, and the color hasn't oxidized. It hasn't changed at all. I am like completely blown away. Hey, I'm back and it's about uh, four o'clock in the afternoon. I think I am going to make this my final check-in and give you my final thoughts on the foundation and the other Wet n Wild stuff. I've been out and about a little bit out in the sun. Um, I've definitely sweated a little bit because it's now into the 80s here. Um, so I think that the foundation is amazing. I think it has done an incredible job sort of staying put. Um, it hasn't like sunk into my lines. It hasn't accentuated any fine lines. It hasn't clung on to any texture. It's 
really, I'm like so completely impressed. And I'm not saying that because it's like a $5 uh, foundation. I just, it's really one of the best foundations I've used across the board at any price point from any retailer or from any brand. Um, I'm so, so happy with this and I'm definitely gonna run out and get the lighter shade. I didn't get a chance to do that <laughs> today. I know I wanted to, but I didn't get a chance. Maybe I'll do it tonight, actually. We do have to make um, a run out to Walmart. So anyway, now I'm rambling. The highlighter is great. And I've had a meal and a couple snacks and the velvet lip color has faded fairly evenly. Again, I'm very, very impressed. The lip liner is fine. It hasn't like, I don't know, caked up or done anything weird or like smeared or, you know, anything bizarre. The eyeshadow is, has not faded at all. I used the eyeshadow primer, so I'm going to assume that that had a little bit to do with it. Um, but the eyeshadow was really great. Really, really wonderful. I liked how it blended out. I'm gonna get up close, just so you can see. I'm not making stuff up. But look at this foundation and, and the velvet lip color. And don't mind this. Whenever I eat chips, which I had with my lunch, um, I get a hive right there. It's, it's like the weirdest thing. Um, the solution would be for me to stop eating chips, but that's not gonna happen. I think it has outperformed for sure that Gucci foundation, the Lustrous Glow foundation. Totally outperformed that one. Anyway, I, I am so happy with this. I give this foundation two, two major thumbs up. Um, I think it's really, really wonderful. And I love the highlighting powder. I really like everything. I'm not the biggest fan of the setting spray because it just sort of feels like hairspray. Hairspray on my face. Anyway, I hope you found this episode helpful. And if you've used this foundation, if you have thoughts, um, please leave comments. If you have any questions, please ask them below. Um, if you would like to subscribe, please subscribe with the floating head right here. And I will see you in my next episode. Bye.